things you need to know about the ACCA curriculum before making a decision. If you're thinking about pursuing ACCA and are wondering what is it that you're exactly going to study once you start pursuing ACCA, then this video is the right video for you. In this video, we'll be talking about the complete ACCA syllabus or curriculum, trying and helping you understand what is it that you'll be exposed to in this qualification and what will you leave with in terms of your expertise. Please show us your support in the forms of a like and subscribe to us so that you keep getting such videos which help you time and again. Jumping into ACCS curriculum. ACC is split in three levels, knowledge level, skill level and professional level. First, let's talk about ACCS knowledge level. These are three exams that we need to look at. The very first exam is the business and technology exam. As the name suggests, it is the understanding of the business world, how corporates function, how organizations function, how different organizations exist, the economics, macroeconomics, microeconomics, understanding how corporate governance works, understanding the technological aspects, IT developments, and much more. Let's understand the second paper, which is management accounting. Management accounting simply, again, as the name suggests, is the accounting needed by the management. Or a more simpler way of looking at it is cost accounting. Whatever we learn to understand how the costing side of things work, how unit economics work, how process costing happens, how capital budgeting happens, all these kind of things are introduced to us in management accounting. Then we have financial accounting. ACC is a qualification which helps you develop your expertise in IFRS and financial accounting is your first step towards it. ACC helps you build your knowledge from zero to one learning from journals, ledgers, right up to preparing your complete financial statements in the paper financial account. Moving towards the skill level. Skill level has six papers. The very first one is law, the very obvious global law, which teaches you the details of how a company should be run and what kind of regulations do we need to look at when we are in the corporate world. Then we try to understand performance management which is the advanced paper of management accounting. Going further in depth about the topics that we learn in costing, different methods of costing, and much more. Then we learn about taxation, understanding direct and indirect tax as followed in the UK, or different, different variants that are offered by the ACCA, which you can check on their website. This seems like a good time to also mention that on the ACCA website, you can find detailed curriculums for each and every subject that I'm referring to. So if you're still confused and want to check out what exactly will be taught in any of the papers, you can check out accaglobal.com, which is also linked in the video's description. Moving forward with the remaining skill level papers, we have financial reporting, which is the advanced paper of financial accounting, helping you take another step in your IFRS development. Then we have audit and assurance, Audit introduces you to being able to verify whether the accounts of a company are true and fair. Once you've learned accounts and financial reporting, you'll learn how to audit the same accounts or audit a company in the paper Audit and Assurance. Then we look at financial management. Financial management is in-depth of capital budgeting that we learn in your management accounting paper going in depth as to understanding how to value a company, how to value every project, how to make the right decisions, how to raise finance, the cost of capital to a company. That summarizes skill level for you, hopefully. Moving forward, let's finally understand the professional level. The professional level is split into two components, the mandatory papers and the optional papers. The mandatory papers are two papers that you have to give, which is the strategic business reporting paper. Now, this is the mother grail of IFRS. Once you've built your base in financial accounting, developed it in financial reporting, you master it in strategic business reporting. Then you have strategic business leader. This paper we like to describe as a mini MBA. It is a long exam with only one question, a case study about a company, which you're taught on how to analyze the company, look at the weaknesses, strengths, and hopefully develop the right strategy for the company. Finally, we have the optional papers. We have four optional papers that we look at in terms of advanced performance management, advanced taxation, advanced audit and assurance, advanced financial management. If you heard the terms right, then you will realize 
These are all papers that you're exposed to in terms of building a place in your skill level. And now in your professional level, you have the right to choose any two out of these four and specialize in them. Hopefully, guys, that gives you a good idea about what the ACC curriculum has to hold for you. Using this, you can decide whether ACC is the right fit for you as a qualification and leapfrog into the journey. If you do need any specific counseling, please feel free to reach out to us so that we can help you make a better decision and help you get your training journey started. Let us know if you like this video and show us the support in terms of likes and comments. And once again, stay subscribed so that you keep getting such videos that help you in your journey. Thank you.